The Saiyans are a true warrior race. Don't underestimate oh. us. <laughs> 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 Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. Matt, you little punk. Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Let's teach this old punk why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> this is what happens to morons who underestimate the Ginyu Force. Yeah! Here it goes! Yeah. <laughs> How dare you! I'm not done yet. Then all you got. This'll end it. Crush that ball! So, this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? Have fun, Kakarot! Petita! This is gonna be good! Here it goes! Captain Ginyu, sir! 
I will assist. Damn it. Without Vegeta, this isn't exactly going to be a cakewalk. I don't remember asking for help, Burner. I'm perfectly capable of fighting my own battles. But in again, and it'll be you I pulverize. Understood? <laughs> <laughs> Your strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you mean by that? Man, I just realized my microphone has not been on this entire time. Whoops. But yeah, I've uh, definitely been training. Uh, sorry for not narrating <laughs> this bit that's been going on. Change now! Suddenly, Captain Ginyu begins chuckling. Then, he lets out a defeat... Defeat... Ah. The def deafening scream. Jeez, ah. In doing so, he triggers a technique that enables him to switch bodies with Goku. Now in control of Goku's body, Captain Ginyu heads back to his spaceship with his subordinate. Goku makes a desperate chase after him, but he is hindered. Trapped in Captain Ginyu's injured body. Guys, listen! That's not me! It's Ginyu! Using my body! The others arrive to find Goku battling his own body. Unknown to everyone, Vegeta has his own plans for Ginyu, but first. Seeing that Birder has lost his will to fight, Vegeta ruthlessly puts an end to his life. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft hearted, Kakarot! It's kill or be killed! After finishing off Birder, Vegeta shifts in his attention to Ginyu, who has taken over Goku's body. Now it's time to finish the job! Ah! Ah! Now die! Fool! Change now! Please let this work! What? Oh no! Goku rushes to intercept Cap Ginyu's body change technique and is able to reclaim his own body just in the nick of time. B bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What, what the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick! Yours will do, Vegeta! Ooh, a frog! No, or nothing! <laughs> Suspecting Ginyu's plan, Goku throws a frog between the captain and Vegeta. What in the world? Whew, that was a close one. Thwarted, Captain Ginyu is now trapped inside a frog, and Goku is saved. Goku is, is then put inside the medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and the others fighting nearby. Now get ready! Meanwhile, Vegeta and the others sense an immense power coming from their opponent, one that far exceeds their own. Just as he is marveling at Frieza's strength, Goku's treatment finishes and he is fully healed. Try to hang on just a little bit longer. I'm on my way, guys. When Goku arrives at the raging battle, Vegeta is moments away from death at Frieza's hands. I, I'm begging you, please. Beat him for me. For the pride of our race. You must defeat him. Please, he must die by a Saiyan's hand. And so, the battle between Goku and Frieza begins. For you to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them, and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! 
And I would just love to see you try. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick. We'll only be in the way. Go on, come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! You got I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. Get a spirit bomb prepped. One more, and it should become an insta kill. Share your energy with me. Get ready to Ah, oh, I can't do- ah, dang it. I can't use it. I want to win this fight. My only choice is to gather enough energy for Oh, I feel like I'm gonna die now. Yeah, no. Oh, okay, the unlock's right there. Darn, okay, that's good to know. After Goku is defeated by the terrifyingly powerful Frieza. Frieza steals the Dragon Balls and, make his, and makes his wish. His name reverberates throughout the universe, and every creature comes to know him as their immortal emperor. Dang it. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. Oh no. Halfway decent plan. Whoa. I'm not done yet. Whoa. I'm not done yet. Ah, turn it. Lost it. I'm toy with you a bit. I'm not done yet. Share your energy with me. Darn it. Share your energy 
with me. Don't bother. Get ready to see my real strength. Ah, darn chip damage. Exactly know how like what what servant two wins it. This excited about the prospect for battle in my entire life. Like, I assume now it's a time thing. How I'll kill you. I don't know why it's not letting me dragon dash. You okay, Frieza? <laughs> Insta kill. <laughs> Goku's spirit bomb has finally brought an end to the long and hard fought battle. At last, our heroes can rest. Or so they think, until... No, it, it can't be! Frieza's alive! No. Why didn't you dodge? 
I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home! <laughs> Krillin! No, Frieza! Don't do it! Go, go! <laughs> I think the brat should go next. You! You! Ruthless! Heartless! Bastard! Go! Take Piccolo with you and get out of here now! Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go! Oh. What, what just an iconic Do moment. I tell you right now, before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! Overcome with pure rage at seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transforms into a legendary Super Saiyan. Once again, the trumpets of battle sounds. Frieza, whose body can survive even the vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy Planet Namek in its entirety. With five minutes left until Planet Namek's extinction, Frieza finally reaches full power. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. This really must be 100% of his full power. Goku, are you listening to me yet? Hey, King Kai. Quit standing around and finish him. This is our one chance. It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. Nah, that's, that won't be until he unlocks Black Frieza. <laughs> Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time! And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down! Krillin was my best friend! Frieza took him from oh, the me! Music. He killed him in an instant! Like he was nothing! 85% now! 90! Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best! No regrets for either one of us. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. <laughs> My apologies for the wait. This is my full power! Then do you want to finish this, or are you just going to keep talking? Full power! Stop a little cockroach! I will blow you into a million pieces! Just like I did that Earthling. That Earthling? Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare say his name! Oh my God. I'm not done yet. Man, 
There he goes. <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why... Which is why... You must die by my hand! You fool! After a desperate struggle, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from the crumbling remains of Planet Namek. But the spaceship he's found is too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a pod piloted by the Ginyu Force, and with that, safely but narrowly escapes Planet Namek. Yet, the pod is not headed for Earth. It is, yeah, gee, Earth. It is destined for Planet Yardrat, and Goku learns a new technique. Let's see what other... Okay, so there's one... Alternate. Not defeating him with the Spirit Bomb. And then... Yeah, because Goku's not really here for most of the... Saiyan Saga. We're just, just watching uh, if Bird is with Ginyu. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see, let's go back to this one. Let's see if I can get this what if now. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. Not that I can just got full power. <laughs> you could trade yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. Oh no. How about this? <laughs> Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I want to see if you've gotten any tougher. Oh, he doesn't know where so I am. Don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? Pickle! Special attack hidden up your sleeve. Now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. So you've been developing a new technique too? Just when I thought I might have closed the gap between us. Wait, you got a new move too? Yeah, but uh, mine's a little more work in progress. All right. In that case, I'll try and buy you guys a little more time. Yeah, I think if I get that dialogue, then I don't get it anymore. Let's go. How about this? Yeah. All right, try. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. 
The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. How bad? Oh, darn it. We're settling this right here and now. Let me show you my full strength. Nope, yep. Yeah. That's gonna get me below yeah. the mount. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! Tremble in fear. How about this? Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I want to see if you've gotten any tougher. So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? Pickle! Yeah. You want to die? <laughs> You're mine! How about this? What? I, I, I feel like that one passed me. Too strong for me. Ah, oh, come on. Jeez. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier. They're I still like I, even going through the training. I don't understand how to go through wild, do wild rush. <laughs> could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to that level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! We're settling this right here and now! Tremble in fear! Let me show you my full strength! Yeah. Ah. Not good! Behind you! Whoa. <laughs> Looks like it's my house this! Yeah. Oh no. How about this? Gotcha! Oh no! That was close! Pretty good when I have to care. <laughs> Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I want to see if you've gotten any tougher. So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? I, I don't know why, like, I can't do the super dash that gets me right to him. Huh. I don't know what I'm exactly I'm doing wrong. Oh, okay. Well. I need, I need, I need to understand the controls a bit more sometimes. <laughs> Let's go to the episode map. Let's get started with the Cell Saga then. Here goes. Ah, trunks. 
One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on planet Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. The young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan, just like Goku, and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku, who was on planet Yardrat, after his escape on, from planet Namek, returns to Earth. The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks, and he has come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ribbon, Ar Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered, and Goku has died of a heart virus so he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he will come to their aid, when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. Piccolo, what do you say? Wanna train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure. Sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm gonna head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh! Well, okay! And the androids have arrived. Three years pass, and the fated day of May 12th has finally come. Goku and the others get gathered at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the android's appearance, but before they know it, they're already here. Up there, in the sky! He was attacked from above! Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamcha, and turns to face the incoming androids. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! Goku leads the androids to a deserted area, away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that over time, he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Android 20 is confident that victory will be his. But Goku only grins in response. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock! <laughs> Whoa! Hmm. You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get! A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me! Right here and now! 
done yet. Now I'm mad. Amazing. His strength is immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. You I thought I was going to absorb it with that animation. Hey, I lost your hat. Let's do it again. Goku loses consciousness after his battle with the androids. Once he's been given the medicine from Trunks, he comes up to a few days later. During that time, androids 16, 17, and 18 awaken, and to make matters worse, a creature named Cell has appeared, seeking the ultimate power. It is through absorbing androids 17 and 18 that Cell plans to attain his perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters the hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Goku explains his training plan to Trunks and Vegeta, and the two of them enter the chamber first. A day passes, but then Goku senses an impending battle. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's so? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy, so it's got to be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan! We can't help it! We're nowhere near their level right now! All we do is slow Piccolo down! Uh, huh? Dad, that energy! It, it's gotta be Cell! Is that me? Is that me stronger than me? Oh, kill me! Use my instant transmission, I might be able to get Piccolo out of there. Thanks, Dad. Please save him. Goku and his friends sense that Cell is approaching Piccolo's location and uses instant transmission to hurry to Piccolo's side. Just as they arrive, however, Piccolo is attacked and mortally wounded by Cell. Seeing their friend hurt, Goku and Gohan fly into a rage that marks the beginning of their battle with Cell. Mr. Piccolo! He... he's... oh no! Stay calm, Gohan. Try to sense his energy signal. You're right, I can still feel it. Mr. Piccolo is alive! I'll buy us some time. While I do, you rescue Piccolo and hurry back here. But be careful! Okay. You're Goku, aren't you? That's funny. How did you get here all of a sudden? I hadn't felt the faintest trace of your energy. That's for me to know. And you to find out. Hilarious. Well, finding out isn't exactly high on my to-do list. It hardly matters anyway, since you'll soon be more bio-extract for me to drink up. Go ahead and try me then, Cell. Out of my way, Goku. This freak is mine to deal with, not yours. We're settling this right here and now! Back you up. Thank you, Tien. Take this. 
settling this right here and now. Oh, oh darn. Goku, killing you will have to wait. I cannot allow number 17 to be absorbed. 16? You're actually gonna fight too? By my calculations, Cell and I are approximately equal in power. What? Cell, I'm not done yet. Almost. Don't Goku and friends have successfully defeated Cell, but now the androids stand before him. Since their common enemy has been done away with, the androids return to their original objective and are trying to kill Goku. However, the androids have suffered damage from their battle with Cell. Listen, your bodies are way too injured to be fighting right now. I'm not going anywhere, so why don't you rest up and we can do this another time? The hell are you talking about? These little scrapes are nothing. We could still take you easy. Yeah, don't throw me any sympathy. I haven't had a scratch. What's that supposed to mean? Well, not naming numbers, but one of us was hogging all the action and ended up with a couple boo-boos. So step aside and let a lady stretch her legs. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. You got any problems with that, 16? Negative. Good. Glad but he wants to page. kill Son Goku. <laughs> Would you let me take this one on my own? Of course. Just be careful, Goku. Hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way! 
You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one. I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> Don't start getting ahead of yourself. Yo! We're setting this right here and now! Wasn't expecting this today. Though inferior in power, Goku taunts Android 18, all while remaining perfectly calm. That allows him to gain the advantage in their fights. Android 18 soon realizes she is losing and decides to abandon her fight with Goku. Ugh, that's enough. Now my clothes are all dirty. Wait, you're done? That was so quick! Untouchable as I am, I don't get that much of a kick out of fighting. Had enough time to lick your wounds? <laughs> you know androids don't run out of energy like that. I swear, you're the naggiest sibling in the world. They're putting up a much better fight now. Must have really got their head back in the game. Maybe from watching me against 18. Gotta say, Goku, you're as impressive a martial artist as the doctor said. That, and you're not nearly as annoying as that hothead, Vegeta. You kept your cool throughout that whole fight with 18, too. Making an android with unlimited energy sweat is quite an accomplishment. I've never had more fun. For a second, I was thinking they were going to have me carry over my health from fighting 18. Yo, you fool! Yeah! 
I meant to be angry. Time to finish this. We're settling this right here and now. Only let my guard down for a second, but you're something else. Now do I need to fight 16? Realizing he can't defeat Goku, Android 17 lowers his guard. However, his expression seems somewhat pleased. Android 17, who has searched for Goku as if it were a game, feels like he had enough fun with the fight. I think I'm a little burnt out on all the fighting today. Let's get out of here. These are Android 17's words to Android 16 and Android 18. Android 16's gaze remains displeased as he stares at Goku. What's the deal? We going or what? <sighs> what? 16, what got into you all of a sudden? You look pissed. My mission is to kill Goku, and I intend to accomplish it. Dude, chill. Go see some birds, man. I will end your existence, for it is the only purpose of my existence. Everyone and everything else is secondary. <clears throat> then it's now or never. Okay, that's time I'm starting on base. I can do Enough. Or oh, can I can I not uh, transform in this fight? Share your That's kind of what it's looking me. like. And eighteen. Farewell. It felt like one of his attacks just did a ton of damage. Like, but even before the explosion.
Still recharging. I can keep fighting. Just keep him in the water to make it so it takes longer for him. I mean, it keeps working. Okay, now he's back up. Disengaging limiter. Take this. Useless. Enough. Share your energy with me. All right, now it should be an insta kill. I figure out how to do that. I don't know, I guess it wasn't the it all comes full power one. This. <laughs> don't you dare, 16. I'm not letting you blow yourself up. <sighs> don't tell me. You have a self-destruct device inside of you as well? I... I told you both before. My sole mission is to kill Goku at any cost. Then why haven't you already? You could wipe this entire island off the map with that explosion. <clears throat> That's enough! You can't beat me in the state you're in now. <clears throat> and besides, you don't really seem like a bad guy. Even if you're technically a robot, I could feel your intent to kill. But if it really is your mission, why didn't you go for it during the fight with Cell? Instead, you chose to defend your fellow androids, which means... It's simple. There is much wildlife living all around this island. I did not want to obstruct nature with the fallout of our battles. But hear me, Goku. One day I will fulfill my purpose. You took care not to harm any innocent life, animal nor human. I believe you are both good people. I have enjoyed traveling together. Well, who says we can't still keep doing it? Then you know what? Let's have our first stop by the mall. I'm in desperate need of some new, less filthy clothes. <clears throat> It looks like the battle is over. Yep. Goku! We're Cell! And the Cell's already defeated and, and the androids get to 18. live. You, uh, you at, at least hopefully, already, mostly you? in peace. Well, 16 still wants to fight. Back. Huh? <laughs> in the wake of Cell's defeat, so this time it has the narrative. Androids depart. Peace is once again restored. Thanks to Goku and his friends. Also, didn't the narrator for the Ocean Dub just recently pass away? Someday, yes, these powerful artificial humans may show their faces again. But when they do, will they be friend or foe? Whatever the outcome, Goku is sure to be stronger than ever and ready to defend the world. Changing the future. That's a nice what if. 
Yeah, I guess that's the main story. Alright, well, next time we'll be continuing on with the Cell Saga. And probably also doing Boo.